My guest today is a hit-making recording artist and self-acclaimed fashion icon. Constantly evolving, Casey has gone from being one half of a hip-hop duo to a solo artist and now a contender in the political space. Please welcome Kingsley Okonkwa, popularly known as Casey in the building! Good to see you, yeah, bro. Good brother. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Good to see you. Always blinking and shining. What can a young man Too do? Too much money. Eh. Eh, Casey. <laughs> well, nice to have you. Nice well, to be here. Well, on the 3rd of August 2017, you added political aspirant to your ever-growing titles. Yes. What informed this decision to run for governorship in Anambra State? Yeah, well, I think uh, that sounds like my latest single now. <laughs> Anywhere <laughs> I go, everybody asks me about that. Yes, we all want to know. Yeah, but, curious. but I think um, it's not a joke. It's serious to me. And I think um, over the years, uh, right from where we were born, yeah. Um, over 30 now. We've yeah. been hearing leaders of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No chance for us. Even those that were leading us when we were born are still leading us. Yeah. <laughs> so now we had the opportunity to, you know, when they passed the bill, not too young to run. I felt yeah. like it's, yeah. a t it's time for the youth to stand their ground. It's time for us to speak up. It's time for us to take, you know, position in the government because we are creative people. We have young minds. In our days, this is computer age mm -hmm. and all that. Our parents didn't experience all that. So mm -hmm. I think with the changes we have right yeah, now. To just, you know, to put an you know, end to the excuse that young people are not rising to be counted. Yes. Who told you? We can make things happen. Yeah, so. exactly. So uh, now that you're talking seriously about this thing, what party, uh, what platform are you running on? What party platform? Yeah, well, right now a lot of um, parties are uh, talking to me to run on that. They are, <laughs> yeah, but my campaign manager said I should hold on not to make official statement. We're going to do that later. Yeah. But uh, the plans are going on and we're going to Wh come Why do you think so a number of people want to vote you as, your, as their next governor? Yeah, well, I think um, because they need transformation, they need change, they need serious people, they need dedicated people. I think I have credibility, I have record. The business I do is based on credibility. People pay me money from far and wide, and I don't disappoint them. I go to work, you true, understand? True, and I think true, that can true. be, you know, um, be put to that office. If I sit there, trust me, they are 100% going to be sure of whatever I'm going to be doing for them because they know this man is not a thief. They know your pedigree. They know. Okay. Um, now, now that we are talking about it, all right, uh, for somebody who wants to fix Nigeria's problem, I'm sure you would have identified one major problem that we have in this country. Yeah. And how to solve it. Yeah. So what do you think is the one major problem we have in Nigeria? And how do you plan yeah, to Yeah, well, it? I think um, with the experience I have and traveling far and wide so far, I think the major challenge we have here is what we've been talking about for the years, which is this thing we're seeing here, light to be permanent. A lot of things are not working right because of that. And I think it's not a big deal. It's just um, dedication. So many people have said it. In yeah. fact, the current minister for power said, I mean, in six months, any serious government should provide power. Mm -hmm. And this is more than six months and he has not done it. Yeah. You are now saying, you're echoing the same thing you're saying. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Casey, how do we fix power problem in Nigeria? Yeah, well, I think, I think um, there are professionals that can do this. All you need to do is to get them involved. Get them struck, you know, get this thing structured. Ghana yesterday. Casey. Eh? Okay, Casey. Okay, okay, okay. Just Are you yesterday. passing the buck again to professionals? No, no. Yeah, of course I can do it myself. Like yeah, fixing it myself. Like this. There are people that are professionals who do this. What do you do? Just to employ them, contract them, and make sure they do it. Not but to... Nigerians agree that it's more than professional, that there's a cabal holding the power sector down. Okay, uh, that, and that, that once we can dislodge that cabal, that light will come. That is why I said my campaign, I don't need godfathers. Because if we have godfathers, they will stand against that. I need the youth to stand for me. Okay. Okay. Well taken. Well taken. Yeah. All right. I, I, um, I was there so many years back mm -hmm. when you guys won the Star Quest. Oh, amazing. And that signaled the beginning of a, very, a, a career that has blossomed. Definitely. I'm sure, as an entertainer, you, you must have had embarrassing moments. Sure. Which one is the most embarrassing? Oh, well, um, <laughs> I'll say when I was starting my career uh, in Ajegunle, there was a time I went for a show, and I did this song with Presh then. Mm. The song is saying, uh, come everybody, put on your dancing shoe to the dancing floor. Mm -hmm. So while we're doing the song, they were removing their shoe and stoning us the shoe to leave Ooh. the stage. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. You understand? That means... Like we're making noise or oh. saying something stupid. So, but that could have discouraged me yeah. or sent me back to go and sleep like I can't do this. But instead, 
that encouraged me and I worked harder. I, I think that's one thing I admire yeah. about you that I think young people should emulate. You know, they never say die attitude. Never. Because every time you've met obstacles in your career, you've tried in your own way to prove that Definitely. you can do it. And Definitely. I think that is why you are still relevant today. Uh, he thank deserves you. a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. He deserves a round of applause for that. Okay. Okay. Um, still, I, you know, I can... I, your new album is dropping today. Sure, sure. So what do we expect? What, what is different from... The, just tell us about it. What's different f from this one, you know, compared to all the other ones you've done before? Okay, I think this one is dear to me. That's why I said attention to detail. The title of the album is Attention to Detail um, because um, it's beyond the music right now for me. Okay. It's a brand. It's Casey. It's not just the music. A lot of people have music. They have talent, but trust me, for you to excel in this business is beyond music. I've known you also for so many years doing your comedy. It's not just a lot of young ones are here, but trust me, I know your power. I know your capability when you stand to hold the my mic. Head, my head is you know, now. I've seen you and I know um, with this experience, I put it together in this album and um, I have different flavors of kind of song. I have dance hall, I have r and I have- um, All in this Mask new album. Yes, Fantastic. and it's about 19 tracker. And wow, three 19. bonuses. Yeah, uh, three bonus track, which is about 22 tracker. Mm -hmm. uh, good, good. So thank yes. you. Okay, um, we'll, we'll, we'll round up, we'll round up on, a, on a lighter note. Yeah, in your family, mm -hmm. since you're now contemplating politics, <laughs> in your family, who do you think, now seriously, you must answer, who do you think will not vote for you? Who? Who do you think will not vote for you in your family? I think, I think... Uh, <laughs> because, you know, in every family, there's always this one person that looks at you like, see him, but you need to say what good. Yeah, I think, I, think, I think they did that to me when I was starting my musical career. Yeah. And I proved them wrong. Yeah. And when I declared this intention, I didn't tell anybody. Mm. And they, they called me that morning. They were like, Ogini, mm. <laughs> are you for real? Yeah. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> Uh, I laughed and I said, no, I was joking. Uh, they were like, don't joke with this one. <laughs> we have been receiving phone calls already answering uh, <laughs> governor's brother, governor's sister. So, and I think the encouragement they gave me that morning shows that they all are going to support me, trust me, because I was expecting them Casey, to tell me. I was me, hoping that you would tell me one person. It's who only my late father that might not vote for me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> How crafty, you chose one late person. All right, thank you very much, Casey. Thank you. It's so been nice much. talking to you. I appreciate it. I'm sure we'll invite you some other time to talk some more on this your political ambition. <laughs> thank you. Ladies so and gentlemen, that was Casey. Yes, a round of applause for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We'll definitely keep an eye on his progress and we'll wish him well in his uh, in his new in, new endeavor.